there's one for the album. In fact, it's going down the bottom. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is Saturday, so yet another £500 of £2 coins that we'll be going through in just a second. And the albums, numbers 3 and 4. Um, if you can remember, album number 1 we completed in full. Album number 2, we were still waiting for the Northern Ireland Commonwealth, uh, but we've been waiting the ages, so we've moved on to two new albums. Um, this is album number three. Now, if the hunt today is anything like last week's, I'll be well impressed uh, because we actually found a Commonwealth Games England, which means we just need the other three Commonwealths now. Uh, we also found um, an underground roundel, and we also found the 2015 Britannia as well. So there was three that went into the album, and as you can see, there was three on the first page, three on the second page, and that is just a variant, whether we get that or not, it's not really a matter. So technically there's only six coins in album number three. Number four, we've still got a, a fair bit to do. We've got all four Commonwealths on that one. Um, all three Olympics, King James Bible, Mary Rose, Underground Roundel for that one, Magna Carta, World War One Navy, again the variant, and the 2015 Britannia. And after that we've got everything else. So, uh, this is dated the 12th of May. Um, I picked these up on the 13th of May, and today is the 14th of May. So, uh, as you can see, I've got it all sealed. Right. So we'll quickly count the coins round to the side as we usually do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and one makes twenty-five. Um not forgetting Dan Temple's token. Um, I had a bit of bother with this because I thought I'd lost it, to be honest. <laughs> I, I, I was doing a bit of tidying up and uh, I was panicking because I thought I'd, I'd, I'd actually missed it uh, or lost it. But uh, luckily it came to light. So anyway, we've got Bat Pig as well. He's collecting the World War uh, 2v the anniversary coins. I, mean, I think he's got about three in there at the minute. And this is our first bag, so let's see what we have today. Well, technologies, we're not really looking for them unless they're shiny ones that can replace date runs. Uh, so, our first one to date is the uh, Shakespeare comedies, which will go upside down. And it should say uh, what a, uh, all the world's a stage on this on the inscription, which it does. And so oh, got a Trinity House. Don't tend to get many of them either. Very nice. Another third one. This looks like a Shakespeare as well. Shakespeare histories. Old crown. So not a bad start. We've got three there, and I've got a bit of plastic. I think I must have cut through one of the bags. Right, well that's not a bad start. Three commemorators in the first bag. I will check all the uh, coins again at the end of the video after we've uh, finished filming because there might be some with uh, rotation errors like the 2015 which is a known one. But uh, I've never seen any myself. I know there's uh, quite a few coins here with getting them. And uh, it's a Pretty decent condition, rugby world cup. 
There we go, one for Bot Pig. Paul's Cathedral, the day anniversary. It's celebrating 60 years since the end of World War II. And the 2015 now, I just missed it. No rotation. Oh, another one for Bot Pig. The the anniversary ones are the uh, most minted commemorative two pound coins that are in circulation. Um, I didn't don't tend to find many, uh, which is why I selected that one for the the money box. But uh, as well as that, it looks like the back signal. <laughs> um, now this one here, this is the Brunel portrait. Um, there is a known edge inscription around some of them where it has remember remember which is the gunpowder plot edge inscription that one's uh, fine in some bard kingdom brunel the act of union Something to the uh, the collar there. World War One. Uh, army, uh, World War, sorry, World War One centenary. Uh, yeah, so this is the Lord Kitchener uh, coin. Now this supposedly has a mule arrow where two pounds isn't uh, stamped on the bottom of the obverse, but that one is fine. Um, Sorry, it's the. I'm just remember. I'm trying to think. It's the World War One centenary, uh, so it's like the start of World War One, not the end of World War One. Um, so that goes there. Florence Nightingale. This is 2010. condition and oh my god we've got a, we've got a real <laughs> oh fantastic and this one is one that we never tend to get very often I don't turn it over I thought oh, I've got another uh, act of union or something but Oh, well, there's one for the album. In fact, it's going down the bottom. It's a star find. Another one for Bat Pig. So I think that makes five. I think we only need five now. There's Darwin. And this one's the act for the abolition of the slave trade. And it is the textured version. So that was just the standard one.
No, another app to the operation of the slave trade. That's in very good condition, which uh, breaks that little bit of a dry spell. I can think we're getting much there. Now, uh, I mentioned in the past, 2005 and 2012 uh, had very low minted years for the technologies, and uh, some of them were actually, well, actually lower than some of the commemoratives that uh, were minted. I have kept a few, uh, really decent uh, state ones. There's another hollow crown, Shakespeare histories. Uh, we haven't had a tragedies yet, so oh, there's another rugby world cup. Yeah, the tragedies uh, we tend to get quite a lot, and um, we usually get the Shakespeare set in almost every two round hunt we do. There's another 2012 one. Look at the state of that one. I mean, that is really in. Very good, Nick. I'll keep that off to the side. Shiny one in here. Gonna be a troll. And it is 2015. Charles Dickens, I tend to get a lot of these, but this is our first one for it here. And another Charles Darwin. Again, another one that doesn't show up too often. <laughs> Maybe it's Charles Dickens. Slave trade. All right, so we're down to the last bag, and it hasn't been a fruitless hunt. Uh, we've got one for the album in the uh, Olympic Rio. We'll have to check these. I I'm pretty certain that there's nothing else. It's 2015 as well. In 2015. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you're new, and the notification bell, if you hit that, uh, it'll keep you up to date with any uploads I do make. Um, so, Star Find for today is the Olympic Rio handover. It's uh, not in the best of conditions, but uh, McNamara's secret eraser trick might bring it up in a bit better condition <laughs> um, so uh, join us in a second and I'll have the coin in the album all right I'm back and goes in bottom left hand corner of page two so uh, as I said we've got the, the three commonwealths and we now need the Olympic Beijing handle, which was my bogey coin in the very first album that we did. Um, and then we ended up getting, I think it was two in the second album, so one went into the first. Um, and the King James Bible. So, partial flag or full flag. So, five coins. Uh, that's the end of the video for today, folks. Uh, join us on Wednesday when we've got another 50p hunt to do. So, until then, uh, keep on hunting, enjoy yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Oops, not forgetting, got three coins for Bat Pig. He's definitely getting full now. Oink, oink. <laughs>